To me, my name is uh, Moin Sarhan. I'm the cluster general manager for Marriott Hotels in Riyadh. Well, first of all, I need to congratulate you on your, your success as, a, as becoming a World Travel Award winner. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. It's, uh, it's a you know, accreditation and uh, a thank you note from our loyal customers who are supporting us and supporting Marriott Worldwide. And here we are um, being hosted by you in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia at the World Travel and Tourism Council Global Summit. What does this really mean for, for, for Saudi and the, and the region? Thank you very much. You know, as, as it's been mentioned yesterday, it, it's a statement coming in from Abu Dhabi uh, last event, 2013, to be the first time happening since, since then. This is one statement. And the other thing which is, you know, you know, if you look at it from a business perspective to the market, just only having the conference here makes the city fully booked by completely. I mean, this is raises the occupancy and the average rate in the whole Riyadh. Uh, with that massive inventory of, uh, of hotels. This is one. The second thing, you know, having the World uh, Travel and Tourism Conference in Saudi, that's a statement toward the future and the world, what Saudi is offering to the travelers coming into Saudi, not only for, uh, you know, an Islamic part of, of uh, the country, but we're talking about the projects which is happening and uh, developing in the country. They may, we call it the mega projects. Yeah and you know the development and i'm sure uh, we all attended this lovely dinner at Diraiya and we seen a beautiful site and being um, a world uh, unesco project uh, as Diraiya that will be a hub and a place where visitors can fly just to see this place in particular for us as Marriott you know having Mr Tony Capiano visiting and uh, being a key speaker in the conference this is also an acknowledgement for uh, the Saudi as a government and as an industry for the importance of Marriott as a strategic partner in Saudi and the projects what we're having on the coming pipeline for, uh, for uh, Saudi and the vision 2030 and where are we standing with the development and doubling our inventory in Saudi by that time. Uh, Tony's visit also um, been, been addressed by two important events. One, um, you know, Tony is very keen towards Saudi uh, development and Saudi young development, and it was mentioned yesterday even in the conference. So we are, uh, we introduced already three years back, program to introduce new young Saudis toward the hospitality industry, the program called Tahseen. Tahseen now is seeing the, uh, I wouldn't say the light, I would say the success. Uh, with the number of uh, graduates uh, yesterday in the room, filling the room, uh, more than 150 of them. Uh, this is a very positive vibes in, in, in the industry. Uh, you know, yesterday I was personally there and I seen exactly the meeting started at three o'clock and end up by 6.30. People, they don't want to leave. I mean, talking, I mean, like a father talking to, their, to his kids. Um, you know, they are all in the age of 22, 25. This is the future generation of hospitality uh, coming in with very positive initiatives and they are keen for the future of the hospitality in Saudi Arabia. That's one important thing. Also this morning, Tony hosted the breakfast at the um, Married Diplomatic Quarter for the American business community, also attended by uh, the Under Secretary of Tourism, um, uh, Mr. Mark from the U.S. government. That was a very big meeting um, attended by the business people and business industry, business community in Saudi Arabia. Uh, the room was filled by around 200 uh, attendees. Uh, they listened uh, to um, Mr. Marx, of course, vision towards promoting tourism toward uh, U.S. because it's all about collaboration. And it was highlighted yesterday by Princess Haifa and even by His Excellency uh, Mr. Khatib, that collaboration has to happen between countries. And uh, Tony also highlighted the importance of being resilient and how fast we are uh, moving uh, after COVID and where are we standing right now. Uh, so today breakfast was a very successful one. Uh, you know, it's been started at seven o'clock in the by 10. So that's, uh, you know, very uh, it's extensive agenda run by a different question and answer by the attendees. So World Travel and Tourism Conference is really uh, an iconic 
happening in the region and you can see it you go to any channels tv channels in in in, uh, in the world they are all talking about this conference from your news cnn and so on and bbc so you can see the importance of this events in in this time in particular thank you very much mirin one last question for you i suppose you mentioned sort of marriott doubling its inventory could you tell us a little bit about sort of um, some of the projects that you have in, 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 in under development uh, that bring that to life? Uh, yes, uh, there is so many actually, but I yeah. could highlight sure. uh, the coming uh, Daraia two hotels, two projects uh, luxury yeah. collection coming up. They will be the first to open. And of course, Red Sea project. We have uh, Red Scalton Reserve and the St. Regis um, coming up in uh, Red Sea projects. That's, you know, the top of the tip. And uh, of course, uh, the development team, they are, they are here in town. Um, you know, the number of projects they are signing by the day is really something remarkable. And of course, I mean, if, if I exclude the holy places and where we will have the largest uh, Fairfield Inn by Marriott coming up soon, uh, that's also another uh, destination where we're looking at introducing the Fairfield Inn to Saudi Arabia. Well, the eyes and ears are definitely on Saudi Arabia right now. Thank you for giving us your insight today. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be with you.